Auckland sprinter James Guthrie Croft was in action on the track on day nine of the Pacific Games in Samoa. The 19 year old became the first Kiwi in history to compete in athletics at the Games when he entered the 100 metres, but he fell short in the semi finals. Today he was back in action in the 200 metres heats. And the top three out of each heat going through to the big final in the 200. Jeremy Dodson indicating in heat number one that he's the go to guy at the moment, but I tell you what. He might have his hands full with these two as well, because as we predicted, here comes Benuve, the gold medalist from last night. And there's the New Zealander running alongside him as well. But Benuve doing it quite nicely here in his heat and just uh, really just pulls it in. Guthrie Croft there as well. So these two just uh, handling the conditions quite nicely here at the moment. Guthrie Croft finishing second in his heat in a time of 21.77 seconds to qualify for the semi-finals. Manawatu's Braden Grant was also competing on the track as he lined up in the final of the 400 metres. They're away in the 400 final for men here at the uh, big games event. One of the Blue Ribbons and already Solomon beginning to chew them up. He's gone past Tansy already. He's gone past uh, the other PNG runner as well. Solomon is absolutely motoring at the moment. Grant, the New Zealander, trying to stay with him on the inside. Just wonder whether one of the Fijians is beginning to tie up. There is absolutely distance between Solomon and the rest of the field, Bob. No, he's going for a time because he, he knows that he'll get the 100 bonus points for winning here, but he wants to have a fast, fast, fast time. Baal is trying to stay with him from Papua New Guinea, but there is no doubt in this guy. He came in with a huge time over 46.80. Let's see how he goes here. Now, this is really good by the Australian. Over the line he goes goes Buren on the inside coming in second but that's a big time by the Aussie yeah it um, will wait for the official time but uh, he hasn't been he hasn't been that fast this year and I I think uh, I think if he if he has a 45 5 9 official time he'll be very happy Grant finishing in seventh place in a time of 49.17 more than three seconds behind the winner Stephen Solomon from Australia